Hi, uh, this is a little song that I wrote uh, myself called Accountant Time, and there's a bit of a story that goes along with this. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Daryl Scott. You may have heard of Daryl. He's a well-known Nashville singer-songwriter. You know, he wrote Travis Tritt's song, Great Day to Be Alive, and he wrote the, uh, the music, uh, the theme song for the TV show Justified. He's a very big-name songwriter in Nashville. And every year he runs a camp and for budding songwriters. And I've always wanted to, to go to it, but you'd pay for like a week in a nice Nashville hotel, and it's always been out of my price range. So with COVID this year, he didn't do his camp. Instead, he did a series of Zoom tutorials. And for a price that I could afford, you could get on, play him a song, and he would sit down and spend a half hour with you on your songs. It had a really cool experience. I think I was the first one he did. Which, which made it interesting. And this was a song I picked out and played from the work on. And he's an excellent teacher. He, just, he's, he doesn't look at you and say, you know, you really shouldn't be writing songs. Or he doesn't look at it and tell you that you wrote the great number one hit of next year that you're going to get Grammy for. Uh, he just says, you know, here, think about this, think about that. And so I incorporated some of the things he suggested into the song. So seeing how Daryl Scott put some of the stuff into this song. I like to tell people now, this is a song I co-wrote with Daryl Scott. It's called Accountant Time. All mistakes are mine, none of them are Daryl Scott. called uh, Dancing Away the Blues, and I wrote it for adults. Uh, it's about somebody trying to, uh, well, actually, it's kind of about the power of music and how music can, can change how we feel. And it's kind of an adult song, uh, but I found I played it to my grandchildren, and I also wrote a song, a children's song for my grandchildren. 
And the grandchildren never want to hear the children's song. All they want to hear is I say, play, dance the blues song. Dance, play the dance song, Grandpa. Play the dance song. So this is an, an adult children's song, I guess. Hey, pretty mama, put your red dress on, slip on the dancing shoes. We gonna do this town tonight to go dance with the old blues. Come on, mama, let's dance. Let's dance. Find a place where the music's rocking and the band's kicking out those tunes. Where the crowd is swaying and shouting, shaking and howling at the moon. Troubles at the door, kiss them all goodbye. Then we'll show me on out to the middle of the floor. Don't be shy, come on, mama, let's dance. Let's dance. Gonna clap our hands, gonna shuffle our feet, gonna dance until we drop, until we cut the lights, lock the doors, and make the music stop. Come on, mama, let's dance. Let's dance. So ditch those pills in the fire that shrink you've been paying too much to see. And if the blues come back, find your dancing shoes and just give a call to me. Come on, mama, let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. In 1877, the Nez Perce Indian tribe engaged the United States Army in one of the most amazing conflicts in the history of the United States. They were told that they had to go on to a reservation that had been reduced in size by 90%. And they were prepared to go on to the reservation when some young frustrated Nez Perce warriors uh, took it upon themselves to seek vengeance on some settlers who had mistreated them. This was the night before they were going on to the reservation. As a result of that, the United States Army pursued the Nez Perce over three months, over a thousand miles, chasing their, their families, men, women, and children, across Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. They surrendered 40 miles from safety in the Canadian border uh, on, I believe it was in October of 1877. I had a chance to work at that battlefield where they surrendered a couple of years ago. And there is a tree that grows on that battlefield that was there at the time of the actual battle. And this is a song called Weeping Willow. Voices sing their silent song. The bones of Nesper's warriors and the bones of the innocent lie here beneath the breast of Mother Earth. And you hear the lie forever, forty miles from freedom, a thousand miles from. 
from the land of their birth. Hey, 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 hey. Driven from their homes in the mountains, chased across the wild Montana plains. Ended here at Snake Creek in the rain and the snow And its water can never wash away the shame Soldiers came in the morning Thundering hooves pounding at the break of the day Some people ran for the guns Some ran for the horses Some ran in bare feet just to get away And smoke with empty saddles. The people saw their heroes fall before the fire and heard the sound of freedom's death rattle. For five days they shivered without blankets in the holes they dug as the cannon shot fell. They surrendered on the promise they'd return to their homes. Instead, they were sent to an Oklahoma hell. Who would you kill for your children? How far would you walk to be free? Who would you pray to? Faith, would it take to believe? Now the cold wind blows through the branches as the days of summer turn into fall. Close your eyes and bear the sadness of this world that saw it. This next song is called Redemption. It's a, a song I wrote about uh, driving US-2 out across North Dakota and Montana. It was originally supposed to be a travel song, and the more I worked on it, I realized that, you know, Willie Nelson had already written the travel song on the road again. And I kept writing the song, and I kept talking about things I saw, and I'm like, well, who cares? Who cares? The song kept coming back to, who cares? And it finally it totally changed, and although I'm going across, you know, the fella in the song is going across U.S. too, it's actually about to make an amend to somebody who he's, he wronged years ago. It's called Redemption. The skies are getting lighter over this. Montana prairie, sunrise can't be far behind. Then six hours crossing the state of North Dakota, following my headlights pushing through the night. Colbert Syndicate Bank still lies ahead of me, most of it with nothing much to see. So all I have for company There are distances we measure In minutes and in miles As across the spaces keeping us apart And there are distances that over time Gave us in our tears Distances best measured by the heart Different point of view for 20 years 
that day is hard to me. Fifty miles beyond the town of Haver, the sweet grass hills rise above the plains. She called last night to tell me he'd asked for me to come. He was near the end, but did not feel pain. So I grabbed my bags and I headed on this journey. Deserve grace we get there. Before we slipped away, I had a chance to tell him I was sorry for the years we never shared. Men's are sometimes awkward, sometimes ignored. Still, I said my piece, then he began to speak. He said, I often thought to call you. Try to make things right, but somehow I felt it made a man look weak. So the vanity we've cherished has wasted 20 years, and that, my friend, is much too high a cost. Luckily for you and I, the days a man has left are worth more than the years that he has lost. Skies are getting lighter over this Montana prairie. Sunrise can't be far behind. I'm driving you west to headed back to North Dakota. His words of redemption on my mind. White crosses on the roadside remind me life gets no guarantee.